Uh, Michael is Britain's foremost NLP and business trainer. He's literally trained tens of thousands of people uh, in NLP since coming to Britain from New York in 1980. He's worked with Paul McKenna and Dr. Richard Bandler, helping people not only become more successful, but also have happier and more fulfilled lives. So having said that, let's go straight to the interview and let's start, Michael, by... First of all, could you tell us a little bit about your background and really, who is Michael Breen? Who is Michael Breen? Well, I'm probably the wrong person to ask. I mean, I get up some mornings and I think I have to go in and do this trainer consultant number and I look in the mirror and I just go, nope, not going to do it today. Um, what do you want to know? So what, what's your background? Obviously, you're originally well, I was born from... in America, um, spent the first 20 years in the U.S. Uh, originally, I trained to be an actor. And my dad insisted that I get a proper profession behind me, um, so I ignored him studiously. But I collected a whole bunch of other uh, supplementary things along the way. Um, NLP-wise, um, I first trained with John Grinder in 1987 and uh, met Paul McKenna in 1990. We started McKenna Breen, met Richard Bandler in 1994, etc., etc., etc. Obviously, um, McKenna Breen is uh, a hugely successful NLP training company. I mm -hmm. know you've trained um, tens of thousands mm -hmm. of people in, in the art of NLP, and uh, it's a bit of an open question, but what is your personal definition of NLP? What is my personal definition of NLP? Okay. Well, you see, NLP is not a thing. I know uh, it might seem as if, uh, you know, you buy an NLP training and you get a box and it has a bunch of stuff in it. But that's just the way that things are put together, the applications and approaches. For me, what NLP is about is it's a way of having a look at human behavior and people and finding from really, really cool people what they're doing in order to do their cool stuff that's different from what somebody who's just okay will do. I mean, I can give you an example. Um, you look at large numbers of people, large groups of people, and on any particular axis of quality, you're going to find a small number of people who are at the high end, really, really good, a much larger number of people who are in the middle, and then a small number of people who are at the low end, and that's called the distribution curve. What we do with NLP is we study people who are at the high end, and we figure out through using various tools what they're doing that's different from what the people in the middle are doing. And it's the difference between that expert or great performance and the median that we pull in order to uh, make all kinds of interesting stuff, stuff for use in personal change work and therapy, my area is business, um, sports, just about anywhere you'd care to choose. The personal development stuff you tend to see in the books is just, just that much of it. 